All right, chip of the day. Um, one of the good things coming out of China are these things. Um, they're used, they're being pulled out of equipment, um, probably cell sites. And these are 10 megahertz oscillators. Let me, uh, let me read you the number here. OSC5A2B02. Um, so this is a five volt uh, part. Uh, they, you will also see the 12 in there just for 12 volt parts, but this is the five volt part. And uh, these are just becoming super cheap uh, and they're great. I mean, these are really, really stable. Um, let me show you how stable it is. So I, I built this some time ago. I did a video once on comparing different uh, different ones. And uh, this is the one here. It's an oven oscillator, right? And so these are the, these are the same. Uh, but let's go take a look at what it's reading uh, months later. And there it is up there. 9.9999995. So, wow. Yeah, that's, that's super good. <laughs> super, super good. All right. So what makes these accurate? Um, they are super stable. And uh, I have a, oops here, I have a 10 turn pot here where I can adjust the control voltage to exactly and calibrate it, right? So, so the one I have here has been calibrated at some time in the past um, and it's holding, holding its own. So why are these things so stable? Well, they're oven controlled. Well, what does it mean to be oven controlled? So um, uh, on one of them here, I have uh, sawed off the lid so we can take the lid off and uh, we can uh, change lenses and we'll go in here close. All right, here it is without its cover on. Um, and it is fairly complex. Uh, there is a bit of circuitry in here to do the temperature controlled and uh, keep, it at, keep it at temperature. You say, well, I don't see a crystal. Where's the crystal? Well, the crystal's tucked up underneath there. Um, let's see here if I can. I can focus a bit on that. So yeah, the crystal is, uh, is underneath there. And the other thing that's underneath there is a TO220 uh, transistor, otherwise known as a heating element. <laughs> and so uh, it is sitting on a, it's hard to see, but it is sitting on a copper, copper sheet. And the, uh, both the, uh, crystal and the TO220 transistor um, isn't exactly a TO220. It's one of those little, a little bit smaller one, but kind of like a TO220. Um, so this is the heating element, and it's on a copper slab over to the uh, to the crystal. So that's the that's the quote oven, and uh, it's underneath uh, the circuitry, and the circuitry uh, probably has some heating. Thermistor, a uh, uh, way to read that read that temperature. Uh, do I see a thermistor? Yeah, I see some little red wire in there. It's hard to see, but it's buried it's buried in there. So there's a thermistor in there, and then there's a feedback loop that controls this. Um, when you first turn these on, they're about half an amp, and then they go down to about a quarter amp. Uh, keep them running. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And then a bunch of other circuitry on there to. Uh, to make the oscillator work and probably also temperature controlled uh, loop on the oscillator, uh, just temperature compensation, I should say, and then a uh, temperature controlled loop on the oven. So that's what's inside these things, what, what makes them so good. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of magic goes into the actual crystal itself. It might be, it might be special cut as well to be, uh, you know, a little bit more expensive than a normal crystal, but that's, uh, that's what's inside these things. Now, uh, controlling these things uh, is just a, a, a ground, 5 volts, output, and then uh, the middle pin here, I believe, is the uh, adjustment pin. And so you adjust it with, with some voltage. So you put a, uh, the 10-turn potentiometer uh, that I have over here goes between 0 and, and 5 volts, and then it feeds that voltage on this pin, and then you can adjust just the input voltage and move the uh, frequency a little bit. Um, you can find that on the data sheet. Anyway, um, let's 
So this is what they look like. They have little bumpers, this little, uh, look almost like glass or something, uh, that spaces them, spaces them off the PC board a little bit. So this thing is not in thermal contact with the PC board. It's off a little bit and, uh, it's only making contact with the PC board with the uh, with the pins. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I highly recommend these things. If you have a particular counter that you like, just throw in one of these and it becomes a much, much better counter. Um, the Agilent counter I have, I've been thinking about... Uh, there's, there's boards available that uh, use an oscillator like this. And then that adjustment pin is actually run by a DAC. And the uh, calibration routine is you, that you tell the Agilent, you give it a rubidium 10 megahertz on the input, and then it adjusts this and zero beats it and, uh, and does that by changing the, uh, the DAC values. Um, but since I'm using an external reference on that one, I probably won't get around to doing this anytime soon. But uh, yeah, that is available. Okay, there you go. Chip of the day, the OSC5A2B02.